Hey guys, it's Stefan Boyer again at Mr. HQ TV. It is March the 14th, and let me tell you, it's hard to figure out what clothes to wear every day. The weather changes by the hour, which brings us to an interesting subject. Here, we're in Birmingham, Alabama, in, in the Deep South, and 12 hours ago, it was 75 degrees, and 12 hours from now, it's gonna be 24 degrees. So we've got a 50 plus temperature swing within 24 hours. Uh, that's pretty crazy for figuring out what you're gonna wear, but it's also kind of crazy with what your roof goes through. So huge temperature swings and really a lot of different environmental factors come into play and can affect your metal roofing system. So let's talk about one that's very important to consider for multiple reasons. And that's gonna be thermal movement or thermal expansion and contraction. So expansion and contraction takes place with a lot of different materials, solids, liquids, gases, they, they all do it. But metal is something that's really prone to having that happen. So what happens when metal gets in sunlight or in hotter temperatures, the molecules get very excited. When excited molecules get near each other, they need more room so that they can move around and that causes them to expand away from each other, making that piece of material larger. Now, as it gets cold, they get closer together and it contracts. There's a slight amount of movement and there's actually a factor that you can figure out with how much your metal roofing system can expand and contract. It's somewhere in the range of a quarter inch for every 40 feet of metal. I could be a little off on, on that, but that's with a pretty good temperature swing. So two things that can happen because of the thermal movement of your metal. One is oil canning or buckling of your metal. You wanna be real careful about not having things pinned a certain way. For instance, with a standing seam roof, you would like to have the top end of your panel pinned and the bottom end hemmed over your extended eave so that it's not held together in one spot with uh, on two different ends of the panel because that can cause some oil canning in the center. Uh, also, you want to be really careful about you know your fasteners and things like that. Make sure you have enough fasteners and make sure you have good quality fasteners. And if you get into a really, really long span of metal, say you're doing a school or a big bank, something like that, or, or even a warehouse, you want to have a roof that's got a floating clip system so that you've got one clip that's held into place and the roof is able to float and uh, it allows for an unlimited amount of expansion and contraction to take place. Another really important thing to consider when you're talking expansion and contraction with a metal roof is the friction that takes place beneath the roof. Now you'll have people say things that are, are actually true that you don't have to take off an old shingle roof to do a metal roof Depending on the codes in the area, it's a, actually a really nice benefit if you're able to do that. But you can never take that metal roof and place it directly against the asphalt roof. What will happen there is as the roof expands and contracts, it's going to create friction on the substrate. The, if the substrate is an asphalt shingle with a, a rough granular texture, you're basically rubbing sandpaper against the backside of your metal every single day. Now. If you were to do that, you'll rub through the protective layers of zinc and aluminum that prevent, and primer that prevent the roof from rusting. The underbelly would then become exposed with raw steel. There's natural sweating and moisture that builds beneath a metal roof and it would cause that roof to rust from the inside out. It's never seen until you realize it's a big problem, but inevitably it, it will become a problem if you have a roof installed directly against asphalt. Um, so what you do to prevent that is having some type of a high grade of synthetic or, or ice and water shield beneath the roof. Some people will use a felt paper. We don't believe in that. We think it's too important of an area of the roof to skimp out on. Um, we recommend something that's a, a high and low temperature grade of material. Um, we like to use a, a woven polypropylene. Uh, we try not to get too much into brands around here and promote one over the other. But there are some some really good quality brands out there, um, and just you know talk to a, a rec, you know a reputable professional, and, and he can point you in the right direction. Now, if you got any other questions about this and how expansion and contraction can affect your roof, give us a comment below. 
Uh, we love getting the getting to react, you know, react to people's comments and have a dialogue. Also, if uh, you like these videos, be sure to give us a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe so you'll know every time we put out a new video. Thanks again. I'm Stefan Boyer. Hope you have a great day. Metal Roofing Headquarters, Mr. HQ.